If you're eating vegan or following a paleo diet, that doesn't mean you have to give up sweets. Callie Blonde is here now with a recipe that's been very popular on her Love Cooks blog. It's espresso chocolate chip cookies. There's the picture. Yes. You want to see what the cookies <laughs> look like this morning, though? Oh, my word. This is so embarrassing. Meryl, okay. all my cookies turn green. Just a little They're bit. absolutely green. Green. Yeah, that's what happens when you cook with almond flour sometimes. There's a you good reason for it. And we thought, you know, we're not making fun of her at all because we love her. Oh, uh, love we you guys. We thought we'd love show you, you yeah. know, that sometimes things do go wrong in the kitchen. This is live TV. They so absolutely we're do. We're just going to own it. We're just going to go with it, and we're going to own the oxidation process. And we're going to make some more. It's a natural thing, and we're going to make some more. So, yeah. Meryl, you ready to get cooking? I Let's am. do this. Okay, so we're going to start out with some almond flour. We have about a cup and a half of almond flour, okay. and I'll get you to whisk this I for will. me if that's okay. And then we're going to add three tablespoons of coconut flour. So y'all, this recipe is amazing. If you can't do gluten, if you can't do dairy, this is the cookie for you. Okay. Then we have three-fourths teaspoon of baking soda. It's going to get them nice and fluffy. And then about a fourth teaspoon of salt. And so you're basically, that didn't even come out. We're going to keep on going. You're just going <laughs> to whisk all that together. And if there's any big clumps in your almond flour, you kind of want to whisk those up too. And then we're going to add the fun part. This is when okay. we get to add the coffee, Meryl. This Good. is really exciting. So okay. I'm going to just add this if you want to keep on whisking. Yeah, sure. So we have a shot of espresso. Okay. Or you could do just really like about 35 grams of really strong coffee. So how much is 35 grams? Like a so quarter of a cup? Yeah, that's about a quarter of a okay. cup. Yeah, right. you can just kind of eyeball it. And then this is coconut oil. I love coconut oil and paleo baking. It makes things taste rich and nutty and yummy. And then we also have some maple syrup. So it's about a fourth oh. a cup, which is actually a lot less sugar than you find in most cookies. Normally mm -hmm. you're with about a cup of sugar so that's that's a good um, healthy change there all right so these are dairy free they're dairy they're free. gluten free gluten free they're allergen uh, you know if you have those sensitivities they're friendly for you they're paleo friendly um, so they're a great fit for a really a holiday party where you don't know because a lot of people these days have sensitivities that right. you know you don't always know about so they're a great fit for that okay so basically yeah you you end up switching to the spatula we got a little messy over here um, and then you're gonna kind of stir that all till it gets nice and combined and then we're going to add dairy-free chocolate chips. You can either do paleo chocolate. There's a um, brand called Eating Evolved I loved. Or mm -hmm. you can do, do the Enjoy Life brand okay. of chocolate chips. I really, really like. They taste delicious. They're, you know, free of, I think, eight allergens. And so, in the picture we saw, you had great big chocolate chunks. So yes. you can do these little minis, yes. which are cute. Those are the minis. I, you can either do that or just chop up the paleo chocolate into kind of like large pieces. Okay. So that looks amazing. So the next step is, Meryl, I'm going to get you to scoop it. You're just going to do like a large about a, a one to two tablespoon scoop of the dough and then we're going to use the dough's gotten a little warm here so Meryl's <laughs> kind of improvising yeah get your hands messy whichever if you have kids in the kitchen this is a perfect recipe for yeah. them so you just you know put the dough out on the cookie sheet then you're going to use your hand to flatten the dough because this dough doesn't really expand when it bakes and if you don't press it down it's just going to look like a big lump in your oven and we don't want that so yeah, Meryl's just shape perfect. it into a cookie. Yeah, you just shape there it into go. a cookie with your okay. hands. That's all you do. Um, a big tip, a little gluten-free baking tip for you guys. Once we do this, we're gonna actually put this dough in the freezer because it helps the cookie set. When you don't have the gluten to help it maintain its shape, freezing actually helps. Okay. So you're gonna put it in the freezer after you you know put all these cookies on the sheet. Meryl did an amazing job. She's been smiling for me. <laughs> um, yeah. So we're gonna put it in the freezer for 15 minutes and then we're gonna fly them out, put them in a 350 degree oven for 12 minutes, and you've there got you your go. cookies all baked. Up. All right. Yeah. Eat them the day that you make them. Yes. Or don't worry about the fact that they or, oxidize just a little right, bit because they still taste just as good. Just go with it. I there love it. Go. Yeah, absolutely. Callie, thanks so much. Oh, um, Meryl, it's a joy to be with you. Thank Enjoyed you. it. All right. So you'll find this recipe at newschannel5.com. You can also find it on Callie's blog. It's love-cooks.com. Go to her YouTube channel too. It's really fun. All right.